I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up, but he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. Oh, is it really that dark? For me, it's hard to tell. The words I use come from my own life. I don't really have a point of reference. But I see. So, this is depressing for others. You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Fascinating. There's no data on this, but it seems like you understand them. Hello, plants. I will be tending to you as well this time. Don't worry. I'll make sure to decrease my pressure output. But if anything starts hurting, just raise your left hand. Or rather, your left leaf. I had some prior knowledge of plants, but this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. It's gotten late. We should head back now.
Yes, precisely. Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. Pretty fancy. Hey, what's that umbrella for? I get the feeling it's for good luck, you know? So, which way to the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. 
Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Yoji, where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Got us so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man. Man. What's up? Uh-huh. Come on in. Anything? Much appreciated. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki, and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. <sighs> but it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? So 
sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but... In the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started? That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end, for my father's sake, and for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together, okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. Hey there. Thanks. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. And there's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, 
way down the line. I'll listen to this melody, and when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, you can't escape it? But from what I can tell, Everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided. But it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey. With all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say... It expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. Sup? Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Did you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance it could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. 
Didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow. This hot spring is huge. Oh, shit! Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky little... Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Michuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Hey, not that way! Is this rock formation natural? Hey, is something hiding in the rock shadows? What? Uh, 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 <laughs> Wait, this is just a misunderstanding! Silence! Consider yourselves executed! It was nice knowing you. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Well, I'm never gonna forget Kyoto. Not like I could, even if I wanted to. <laughs> you weren't kidding about the whole execution thing. Just try to forget about it. Crap, here they come. yourselves
him. Not even a dirty look. Koromaru's really happy to see you. You guys have been gone for a while. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it non-stop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm, so it was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. Then I'd doze off for a while, but it was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep right. What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru's thinking lately. It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days. I should follow? Oh, right. Slurping is considered polite. I've heard about that. Hope I can do this correctly. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit! Flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Chef de Cuisine? You're talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? If you're asking about the recipe, sorry, miss, can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. 
You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. We should be going. Welcome back. Yeah. drawing why is this what huh? it's been a while that voice i'm glad to see you once again jin the instruments if you would here don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. All his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, Chidori, hurry it up. Medea, let's go. so I can calm down. A 
the pain comes and goes, but I'll be fine once it passes. It's getting better. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, I hope we have a little more time together after that. The sun is setting. That's it for today, but I hope to see you again. tastes all... Uh, I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. The one from Brazil is very smooth, while the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full-bodied. Oh, um, it's called a value pack blend. I bought it at the supermarket. Does the quality of the beans really affect the flavor that much? Maybe I'll try some better ones next time. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite, but they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up too. Please take the leftovers with you. Although, you might not necessarily like it. Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sips. Um, it's not that I don't appreciate the flavor, it's just that it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much, so... And you seem like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a cafe. I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> Well then, good night. Sorry to wake you. Um, I I'm not sure how to say this. But you need to go to the fourth floor, and please hurry! Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. They're still alive. Those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's... She's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori! She hijacked the transmission? 
I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <clears throat> Yamagishi! I'm... okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! What? Junpei, come back! This is almost certainly a trap, but it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. that smart and I've done a lot of stupid things but this this is wrong we shouldn't be fighting each other Junpei Kun look out Whoa! hey that was close you could have killed someone there <sighs> Shidori why Get back, Junpei! Talking won't solve anything now! It's too dangerous! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun! But please, just back up! Medea. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Chidori! What the hell got into you? To me, Lydia. Are they the Nova? I'm feeling it inside. This is nothing. I don't feel that. I'll go with. Oh. 
you don't touch me Chidori please tell me why you're doing this what I fear most isn't death what I fear most is attachment when I do I become horrified by the thought of loss my possessions my life everything that's why we only ever live for the moment but you Junpei you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. That sense. What is it? It's the others from Straka. How did they? Bastards! You just don't know when to give up! <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was... chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! I'll protect Chidori with my life! Chilpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Junpei, look out! What? Junpei... No! Huh? I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I, I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? I... I want to be with you, Junpei. 
forever. I... um... Uh, I... I want to be with you two. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait, if she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh. <laughs> Chidori! <sighs> <sighs> so it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. But da but da that's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <sighs> this might be all I ever needed. Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Meaningless? Hmm. Quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. The 
Hezekiah, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on it. Hmm. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Trusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. Chidori. <sighs> Chidori. I. I. Oh God, this is so hard. But it's not just my life anymore. Junpei. Morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. Crash out. Oh, 
Hey, uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place too. Psyching myself up to prepare for the internship. I mean, being on time is like the bare minimum job requirement, right? Guess my prospects are looking pretty grim. I overslept like hell. Uh... Oh, damn it! Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Oh, come on, man, you gotta help me. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry. I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez, first someone skipping out and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize right now. Wait, now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. Not even in the slightest, but I'm the one who got myself into this. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? Well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. <sighs> he has no idea how much trouble he's causing me. Tell him he'd better at least call out next time. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. Oh, 
There you are. Hey. Oh, you're looking pretty good. I would have thought you'd been working here for years. Hi, I'd like to place an order. <laughs> Looks like you've got the routine down. Maybe they'll hire you full time. <sighs> Looks like you're doing all right. Oh, it's nothing really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me, we got time. Yeah, he told me to take a break too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. I don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei Kun. Yori? Aren't you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? I guess I should have, but I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good-looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot, too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry. I'm sure Iori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? Yeah. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> Before, but what about now? Oh, uh, sorry, don't mind me. Seeing Junbei-kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... I don't like it. Seeing you, seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later.
Good luck on the rest of your shift. Morning. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Goodbye. Marvel. I'm looking for. Are you accepting a request? Very well. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. It's smaller than I expected. Of course. Don't be ridiculous. Or so I'd like to say, but truthfully, I'm not that familiar. I saw a commercial for fast food once, but I didn't expect that picking it up with bare hands was the norm. Just goes to show how out of touch I am. My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. I didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what'd you want? This came from the hospital. Is this? Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Uh, um. <sighs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. Hey, 
Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. Amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Huh? What? It's... It's a detailed portrait of Junpei-san. Jory. Moping around. Junpei kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the dark hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but just know I'll be counting on you. Junpei. Public got some new things and stuff. That what you want? Take your time. That what you want? Good. It's all yours. Every day. It's all yours. Every day. It's all yours. power to help you. That's my duty after all. That Great. It's all yours. You gotta tell no that what you take your time.
train as hard as I can for now, and if I never have to use that strength again, then so be it. Enemy spotted. Awaiting orders. I think Kurochot found... Stairs locate. seems to be free. Well done. Koromaru-san has located the stairs. He's asking if we're going up. for the both of us. That's very... Ooh, a treasure! 
them to a pulp, as they say.
Recommended. has discovered a ship. Amazing, Koromaru. No matter the place, you're always so agile. I think... Koromaru-san um. is very motivated. right at us. Looks like we can head up. Oh, there's a treasure chest. If a dog can be a persona user, Koromaru-san has discovered a shadow. How do we proceed? I bet we'll find something. That one looks really strong. Stairs locate.
Cadence. Yes. That one looks really strong. your health and stamina um leader
together. Graduating next year, huh? Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. All we can do now is press on. Yeah. The enemy is making a first move. We've got the upper hand.
help one out. Electricity is useless here. Keep that in mind. Keep it together. Persona, engage! 
our stamina and our concentration. Treasure chest identified.
good? Is that? This is... My request. Let's hear the result. Of course. <laughs> Very well. Oh, hello. So, I'd like you to celebrate with me. As of today, I am a free individual. No, not quite yet. Almost, though. I just came from the hospital. They were going to admit me, but it's no longer needed. I guess my body is too weak to undergo surgery. So I've opted out of examinations and medication. I'm done with the hospital. Now, I'm just waiting for the end. But I don't feel like I'm being singled out anymore. Everyone is waiting to die all the same. Some just have longer to wait than others. But once the time comes, it's the same for all of us. I'm still a little lonely. But I've moved past the sadness. Could I get a better look at you? I want to remember your face. Thank you. I'm... a little bit tired today. The story is almost done. So I'll show it to you soon. I'll come see you again. today. I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time. I made sure to store them in the fridge, and I only ground them right before brewing. I also learned you need to be mindful of how hot the water is, as well as how you pour it. Yes, I practiced with the cheaper beans from before, since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although, it was hard to drink all that coffee, so I added a lot of milk and sugar. <laughs> well then, Let's drink, shall we? 
Cheers! Mm. It's still really bitter. So bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? Oh, and the smell was great, too. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, actually. Thanks for joining me. You can go on ahead. I'm gonna practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Oh. Uh, first, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today. So, Ethan, do you understand? Well, the answer was pretty obvious. of thinking negatively like when i have a difficult time deciding on something but no one knows what the future holds no matter how much you prepare you can never really be sure what'll happen so in situations like that i think the most important thing you can do is believe you have to think positively and trust that the future will smile upon you the thing is I'm not sure I can do that. I don't understand how it comes so naturally to everyone else. How are you able to tell yourself that things will work out in the end? Oh, I see. You really are strong. I think I really admire that part of you. So, um... The reason I've been relying on you isn't just because you're our leader. It's because... you're you. It needs to be you. You know, sometimes I think to myself, once I learn how to cook and I've paid you back for your help, Will that be the end of us spending time together like this? Thank you. But I'm sure there are lots of other people who depend on you, right? I can't get in the way of that. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so depressed. Oh, well, look at the time. We should start heading back. Hey, uh, do you mind if we'd make a small detour? I want to buy some ingredients. I think I'll tackle making Korochan's dinner today. Oh, welcome back! You're late! Ryoji-kun was just leaving! Oh, hey there. Chilly out, huh? Hope you don't go catching a cold. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji. Was that Yoji, son? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Kirijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? 
Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru-senpai the first time he met her. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei-kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, ai -chan? I'm fine. It's just... I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine. So I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? But you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why, but I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs, to be there for you always. Uh, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. Feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? <laughs> that's good to hear. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties, so maybe that's taking its effect on you. I was actually a bit worried that I might be putting you off. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to... Actually? Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. Alright, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Thanks for coming. Well... How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. Sorry. 
I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. It hasn't been that long since we met, but I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. Just like this. <laughs> That's an interesting suggestion. I'm sure it'd be wonderful if we could play together. But maybe we'll save that for another time. When I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? good when they're freshly harvested. I think that about does it. Good morning. Yes. Takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. <sighs> Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Seeing as 
the leaving, I suppose. Excuse me, um, one piece of takoyaki, please. What? Oh, they're only sold in multiples? How generous. So I'll receive an entire tray for this price. So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Mm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Mm. Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me, Akihiko once mentioned this place. Mm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it, but I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Of course I'm happy. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. Anxious? Hmm. You may be right. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. Thank you. That takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies only people like Carijo Senpai would eat? If we could grow something like that, we'd make a fortune, don't you think? Oh, damn! So you're up for it? Yeah! We gotta dream big! You're pretty good with your hands, so what do you say? Wanna join forces and make a name for ourselves? Well, we should probably get to work before we get ahead of ourselves. Mm, this is getting really rough on my back. Yeah, my hands are all caked in dirt. But, for the sake of Junpei's brand name, Luxury Veggies, I gotta keep going. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird, and there's no one around. Something bad's happening right now, but for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You. You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. <sighs> I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. 
You are... my enemy. Your... enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was... a long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who... am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you... Your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? tonight. You did too, huh? Oh god, I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait, is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? 
Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. I guess... I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader, I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... What is going on? It's... all my fault. But you did this?! Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out... I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow?! I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Appraiser, born from the Union of the Twelve Arcana. The Appraiser? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows, and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What?! The Shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the Maternal Being. As for the Appraiser, it draws the Maternal Being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the Appraiser? That's you? That's right. His Maternal Being... what is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him. And by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. When his persona awakened, the Twelve Shadows did as well. All in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the Appraiser? And you were inside of him? How the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's all my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that.
He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> Looks like we're all here. Are you okay, ryoji -kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. ryoji -kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the Shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that We'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? Tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? See next spring. That's barely any time at all. <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? Nick Schmix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? More like, it's not possible. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him, and because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's arrival is unavoidable now, but you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just... have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives, and by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, 
so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. Yuji-kun. If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I don't want to put you through something like that. Exactly. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Ryuji-kun's presence vanished just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryuji-kun. I guess... he'll be back. There's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. No, I'm... 
probably just tired. It's nothing you need to worry about. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say, what does marriage mean to you? <laughs> That's a straightforward answer. However, I'm a Kirijo. I can't let my feelings tug me around when making these decisions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, takes careful consideration. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons, but as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? Please, wouldn't you know if I did? We're living under the same roof. Besides, that's a bit... How do I say this? Romance just isn't my strong suit. Like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go.
You just purchase a ticket at the window and then walk in to enjoy a film. This may sound silly to you, but I've always wanted to try the whole theater experience. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel that my view was compromised in the least. It seems a lot of thought goes into the design and construction of a movie theater. It's thanks to you. I've never felt comfortable enough to come here alone. I'm sure most people don't consider this to be such a big deal. I imagine someone like Yukari would have no reservations seeing a movie by herself. She's likely more suited to riding a motorcycle than I am as well. Yes, you must have seen it when I rode in to provide support for the team. However, that wasn't my original motivation for getting it. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all on my own. You could say it's my modest attempt at rebellion against the many restrictions of my life. After it was damaged, I considered letting go, but ultimately I decided to have it repaired instead. I don't regret it. Even now, I spend my time tuning it whenever I can. Together? Just the two of us. Can you ride one on your own? Or do you plan to cling on behind me? <laughs> Whichever it is, you've got your work cut out for you. In any case, you have my thanks. I'm feeling a lot better now. You know, I have to wonder, when my parents went through stressful times, maybe they had moments like this too. Sorry, I know this isn't the proper place to stand around chatting, but if it's alright with you, why don't we stay here a bit longer before heading back? my story and wanted to show it to you I was having a lot of trouble with the ending but I finally figured it out after the alligator ate his friend the bird he cried and cried for a long time 
In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a sparkling lake around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree that bore delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone. The end. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator didn't find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. The meaning of my life isn't something I should spend my time on. It's more about how I was able to affect others. So, for me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know how to explain it, but does that make sense? I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote my story in. I've poured my heart and soul into it. I wanted to give you this, since you shared my final moments. <sighs> my body feels lighter. I'm so grateful to have met you. It seems so insignificant, but maybe there was some meaning in it for both of us. Thank you. In the end, I'm glad that I was born. about this. Lots of people like to give Kurochan gifts whenever he goes for a walk. Do you know where he's keeping them? Oh, well, I guess even Koromaro needs his own privacy. Do you think we should give him his own room? <laughs> ah, right. You're still in the middle of brushing him. I'll leave you to it then. Morning. Yeah. That's why.
then. Correct. to drag you along on this personal venture. <sighs> no, not exactly, but thank you. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance, but far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth is, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I need to show that I can take the lead, even if I have to make sacrifices to do it. Uh, fiancé has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both inside and out. This is the best solution for everyone involved. Well, of course you didn't. You're the only person I've told so far. My mother and father walked the same path, so... I won't run from my fate. Uh, you shouldn't make promises you can't keep. What could you possibly do? Still, though, hearing you say that almost makes me want to believe. Recently, I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? <laughs> I think it would be best if we left off here for today. Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me.
I've acquired a taste for fast food. Just the other day, I had the urge to ride my motorcycle out at night to buy some. <laughs> it's your fault that I'm having these temptations now, you know. <sighs> Do you remember when I told you I was hesitant to meet up with you like this? I'd like it if you could forget I ever said that. We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in stressing over it. And besides, I just need to steal my resolve. Say, I have just one favor to ask. Could you continue to show me new places like this? Just until graduation. I'd like to see more of this world that I've been so blind to. Or is that too selfish a request? Thank you. Let's make some wonderful memories with what little time we have left. You've taught me so many new things. Whether you're taking command in battle or just talking with me like this. As long as I have these memories of you, I'll be all right. Or so I hope. Now then, the day is still young. You promised me your time. I'd like you to make good on that now. It doesn't look like Koromaru-kun is the type that would bite people. I'd like to make friends with him. Maybe I'll bring some treats next time. Goodness, I'm sorry to interrupt your walk. If you'll excuse me. in seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey, that really struck a chord with me. <sighs> and 
then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Say, have you ever thought of running away to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? I see. So you feel that way too sometimes. I'm not saying I wish to leave everything behind. It's just that every now and then, the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company, the weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the Kirijo family name. <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to think this way. Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. Hypothetically, let's say that I was interested in someone right now. I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Would that be wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. Uh, up to me. There you are. Hey, Mitsuru! I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Um, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <sighs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. You're going to be my future wife. You'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. I imagine you feel the same. <laughs> How dare you say that! you this is none of your business get lost come on Mitsuru you know how this works corporate management is not child's play no matter how smart you are you're still going to need my knowledge and experience and the Kirijo group still needs the cooperation of my company doesn't it <sighs> yes Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. I'm sorry, really. Please excuse me. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Come on, Mitsuru, hurry up. By the way, you, who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? 
You ought to know your place in society. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! Wh what? Wh why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M Mitsuru? What are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... And forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiancé! Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru! It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! Sorry to bother you like this. I just had a hard time focusing when I tried doing my homework alone. Thank you for agreeing to study with me. <coughs> Koromaru says he'll study with us too. Right, boy? <coughs> it must be tough for you guys having to think about tests at a time like this. Huh? You're actually enjoying this? Even in the face of grave danger, you never give up. You fight back with all your might. Like a hero! That's so cool! Still, the only thing we can do is carry on and complete our schoolwork as always. <coughs> What's the matter, Korumaru? Huh. He's got something in his mouth. Did you bring this here for us? Thanks, Koromaru. I guess he's trying to cheer us up. I shouldn't make him worry so much. Okay, time to study. If I have any questions, can I ask you for help? And done! That's it for my homework! Oh, you're still studying, aren't you? Is it okay if I stay here for a little while? I'll be sure not to bother you. Koromaru and I will be cheering you on. Good luck! to finish 
I guess it's our turn to hang out with him. Thanks for studying with me today. If you're okay with it, I'd like to do this again sometime. Hello. Th I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I w Hello. Right. anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. <sighs> what am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. <gasps> oh, so it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but... Every time, I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Here goes. I... I... Love you. I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. <gasps> you... love me too? I... I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say, I'm thankful? <sighs> My heart... <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. about this for a while now, but the way you address me... That's exactly what I mean. You're on a first-name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. All right. I've decided. From now on, when it's just the two of us, I'll call you by your first name. It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. In any case, today marks a change. 
I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. <sighs> Look at all these things you're making me say. You'd better take responsibility for this. Uh, well, this is a start. Don't let go just yet. Alright, it looks like everyone's here now. Well, it's been a week. What's our plan? You okay, Fuka? You're just so calm, Yukari-chan. I mean, panicking's not gonna solve anything. Besides, it's been such a drag around here all week, and no one will go to Tartarus. You're absolutely right. We humans are quite resilient. With enough time, we can adapt to any situation. So, how about it, everyone? It's time we discuss this. Have you made up your mind, Sonata-san? No, but I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? I don't know. I mean, it supposedly can't be defeated. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. In any case, we have to choose one way or the other. I obviously don't want to suffer, but that means we have to take a life. Not to mention, we die no matter what we do. Then, do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? M me? Um... That's fair. I mean, it's not exactly normal to pick how you're gonna die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? Nah. What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... This is death we're talking about here! Of course I'm scared! And here you all are, just chatting it up like it's a goddamn picnic! Can't you see? We're all gonna die! Then what do you think we should do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do! He's the only one who can kill him! Hey! This whole thing is your fault! You had that thing inside you and didn't even know it! You raised it, damn it! If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened! Junpei! You're supposed to be special, right? Then do something about it! Stop it, Junpei! It's not his fault! And the only reason we even have a choice is because he carried it! God damn it, I know! It's just, it doesn't matter how many times I tell myself. I know this doesn't fix anything. It scares the hell out of me! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. We're all scared. I'm scared, too. Me, too. I've never felt so cornered in my life. <sighs> I can't stop shaking. Same here. We're all in the same boat. And hey, I'm sorry for teasing you earlier. I just don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yukatan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. I don't think any of us can blame you right now, Junpei. So don't worry about it. Right? I'm sorry. I knew the truth deep down, but still, sorry for being a dick. All right. Let's put a pause on any unnecessary gatherings for now. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. Let's just try to go about our lives until then. We have some time, so let's consider our options while we still can.
everyone. Listen. What? I know what you want to say. Our maid staff assisted with the furnishings. I recognize it's a bit beyond standard for a dorm room. It's almost like a second lounge, isn't it? <laughs> Yukari says that to me all the time. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I want you to have this. It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. I don't have to think of my motorcycle as a means of escaping my feelings. Though, I do regret that I won't be riding it as often anymore. I'd rather ride with you. Of course, you'll have to sit on the back until you get your license. When this is all over, I'll teach you how to ride yourself. I'll be looking forward to it. Please do, but remember to be careful. <sighs> it's still a bit embarrassing to call you by your first name. But when we're alone, no one else can hear me. Your name is more than just a name to me. It's something special. If I were in danger, it would be my last desperate call for help. <sighs> right. So, um, I... I want to be with you tonight. Will you stay with me? That section won't be covered on the exam. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm having some difficulty concentrating. Guess that's to be expected with everything going on. I'm not immune to it either. Sorry. I know we're the ones who invited you to study, but... Well, just look at us. You're so relaxed, it's almost scary. If you're hiding how you really feel, I'd say you're doing a good job of it. But in your case... Yes, I doubt it's an act. This is just who he is. Well, we can't let ourselves be outdone now, can we? Rain or shine, this is still the last exam we'll ever take as high school students. All the more reason to give it our all. You're right. There's no excuse for slacking. It's time to prove what these last three years have led up to. Ooh, I see the fire in your eyes. At this rate, I may have to relinquish my position as top student. That said, test results are but a single measure. 
What truly matters is that we continue to improve ourselves. May we both make this a triumphant finale to our time here. Sorry for causing you concern. Rest assured, we're both in the right mindset now. Well, I think we've dallied enough. We'll need to make up for lost time. I don't think I've been able to focus this well in a long while. I've just finished reviewing the material. <laughs> that so? Well, I guess that means we've earned a bit of your respect back. We're almost through this. Keep at it, you two. Cool. Guess that's that. Now all we gotta do is ace the exams. Marvelous. I'm looking for... Here are my requests. Wonderful. Is that true? You have my thanks. Oh, yes. By all means. By all means. I've been waiting for you. Encounter with one of your world's exquisite treasures, right out of the bloom. So this is the fountain. It makes sport of water, a precious resource, and the very foundation of life. Such a sinful form of art. I've heard of its mystical powers, wherein those who offer coin may have their wishes granted. I must try my hand at this. Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a hefty sum of coins. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins to be exact. I shall make an opening bid of 1 million yen. Oh! I was so caught up in the excitement that I started tossing coins without giving my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. Hmm? What is this facility here? I see there's a gentleman inside with quite the stern face. And these photographs displayed so prominently, most wanted. Reward? Hmm. Would it be correct to presume that these are your version of my subjugation requests? What 
do they use as proof that the target has been subjugated? If they truly parallel my requests, then do they require a piece of the body? My interest has been piqued. This edifice over here, is this what you call a club? Dancers, dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden, flourishing with uninhibited desires. <gasps> oh no! It's closed right now? Oh, what a pity! I had hoped to become part of the scene. Quite satisfying, but I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you don't mind, could you perhaps recommend our next activity? Karaoke. Oh, could it be? It appears the time has come to demonstrate my hidden talents. One may even challenge professional singers at the touch of a button at this karaoke. Ah, <gasps> uh, excuse me. Would you mind waiting for a moment? They hadn't noticed there was a fountain on this side as well. Oh, yet another fountain. On the opposite side, I see. So this place plays host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Now then, I shall perform a song of exultation for my master. Sing along if you will. La, la, la. Oh my, you've never heard this song before? Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission a complete success. This may sound forward, but I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. A sh Marvelous. Very well.
It shouldn't be such a big deal, so... Don't give me that look. I mean, if you keep staring at me that way... actually able to keep up with me on my training regimen. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, the reason I asked you to join me today is... We finally found you, Akihiko Sonata. We've had a good run up until now. Today's where it ends. Don't feel bad about screaming if you gotta. No one's coming to save you, though. These guys just don't know when to quit. There's no getting away this time. Not for you, and not for your chicken shit buddy, either. Not that it'd matter, anyway. You guys live at the dorm nearby, don't you? Yeah, we saw some girls there, and a kid, too. I sure hope they're keeping safe. <laughs> Stay back. I'll create an opening so you can escape. If you're going after my friends, then I'll be your first obstacle. Come on, make your move. Don't you know what'll happen if a trained guy like you hits an amateur? The boxing team will be suspended, and you'll be expelled. Or worse, you'll go to prison, and your life will be over. Is that what you want? Huh? That is true. I can never do something like that to my supervisor, or my boxing teammates. <laughs> but even if that's how I feel... I can't back down now. I'll carry that responsibility and pay for it the rest of my life if I have to. I will protect what's important to me. That's why I have these fists. Ah, what the hell are you going on about? Oh. <laughs> All right, then. I'll trust my back to you. Just try not to hurt him. I'm sure you can handle that. Cocky little bastards! Looks like that does it. That was quite the challenge considering their numbers. Are you alright? Don't ever show your face around here again. If I ever hear you're threatening my friends, you know what'll happen next. G got it! Come on. It's getting cold. Plus, someone might have called the police. Let's go to my room for now. Well, I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these off first. They're more than just fashionable. These hand wraps protect my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. So, the reason I asked you to join me today, it's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger too. 
Knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. I told myself I'd face things head on. But I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me. Do you think I'm strong enough now? <laughs> I'd like to think so. But I did lose my way. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, but grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. <laughs> it's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But... Try not to blame Junpei and the others. I guess I could have saved you some trouble if I spoke up sooner, huh? Anyway, as someone who is there too, I just wanted you to know. No matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I've faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. If I said all my training was meaningless, then that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. Oh, that. I was thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future is going to turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. <laughs> You're one unusual guy. I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but for some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the end, it's because I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal, but this is my starting point. And it's something that I should keep with me. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. Now, where to put this? Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> I did it, Miki. If you say so, I'll keep fighting like I'm up for a shot at the title belt. I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or communicating how I feel, but you can trust I'll never back down from a fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground, I'll get back up every time. I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now, either. Ah, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm. Damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. What else do I have? Ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. In your case, I'd start with... 8 kilos. No, 
Actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine, but you gotta do some resistance training with free weights too. for that scholarship was yesterday. Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Well, what'd you expect? But really, thanks. I guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean, kind of makes me feel empty inside. Thinking of finding a job, actually. Not to sound dramatic, but I want to do it to protect my family. I know where, too. My dad had connections at a car factory, so I'll apply there. Thing is, it's pretty far away. Hmm. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Eat as much as you want. You helped me figure a bunch of things out, you know. I always blame school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole. And I'll never forget that. I better start packing. Got a lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this. Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? Rijo senpai say we shouldn't be hanging out like this? Think she'll be mad if she finds out? I kind of doubt it, but I won't deny that seeing you all does remind me of recent events. Right. Well then, why don't we just call it a wrap here? Um, Sonata senpai, I'd like to ask for some help with this question. Oh, uh, wait, Jimpy kun, I wanted to ask you, uh, um. I think I'll take Koromaru for a walk. Hey, wait! We'll all take him on a walk when we're done. You can sit back down, amata hmm? Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess you found out. I was planning on inviting you to Mitsuru-senpai. I do understand that we don't have time for chit-chat, but I just wanted to spend time with everyone. Um, uh actually my idea. I was the one who wanted to gather everyone. So, I'm sorry. I don't want everyone to get in trouble for my selfishness. <sighs> hey, you shouldn't be the only one that has to apologize. I feel the same way, Fuka. Thanks, Yukari-chan. 
It's just... When I think this might be the last... Um, in any case, I apologize for this. Let's just call it for today. <sighs> Thank you. After warning you all, I wasn't sure how to go back on it. I was actually taking a walk to mull it over. Yukari, Yamagishi, I feel the same way you do. Uh, you did say we should try to go about our lives for now. You hear that, Junpei? Let's get to it. If we're talking my life, studying's the last thing I'd be doing. Mitsuru-senpai, could you help me with this? <laughs> of course. What question did you need help with? we've been studying. Time really flies when we're all in it together. I agree. Thank you for going along with my suggestion, everyone. You think so? I hope everyone else feels the same way. By the way, I hope you haven't forgotten about taking Koromaru for a walk. Uh, of course not. Come on, everyone, let's go. That'll be it for studying, then. Everyone, make sure to give it your all on the exams.
attention, please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money, too. You're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um, Miss President, I... I... just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that... does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! remember what happened that day you had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving I also remember handing the fee money to you directly or are you really going to say that this is my mistake fee money give me an explanation right now or else I am so sorry you're right it's, it's completely my fault well senpai has been wait what well the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I'd been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? 
I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that for the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um... There's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! Uh, oh, I see. Um, then do you think we could still be friends? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'm just glad that we're still closer than when we first met. I still have to apologize to the student council president. I think I owe her an explanation, so excuse me. Yes? Who is it? Um, it's me. Huh? Oh, come in. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Aw, are you feeling lonely? Hey. Are you teasing me? Nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. Yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kinda wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user. Even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? He certainly is. You know, if things don't work out, 
I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good. I'm all fired up now. I never fail. Glad we can meet up one more time before I take off. I told you last time, right? I'm getting a job. Factory's way out west, so I'm moving into a dorm there. I've already sent my luggage. Now I just gotta send myself. My mom started crying and blaming herself, but I'm the one who wants to do this. This is a new chapter in my life. Guess I should say goodbye to this ramen, too. Well then, I better get going. Let's head to the station. Hey. Here, take this. I want you to hang on to that. It's okay. There's no car to drive. It's the key to my dad's car. I've been keeping it for good luck. Sometimes I get pretty pissed that he's not around anymore. My life wouldn't have been so complicated, you know? I could have enjoyed track more. I wouldn't have had all that pressure to be the best. But by blaming him like that, I was just running away from my problems. That's why I want you to have it. I don't want to risk running away again. But if I know you have it, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet. Then next time we meet, I can still be proud of who I am. Thank you. We'll see each other again someday. My request. Wonderful. Marvelous. Is that true? Blinding. Very well, then.
All right, passes. try a new dish I made. She liked it so much, she ended up eating it all. So I told her it was meant to return the favor for what everyone's done for me. But she got really confused and asked me what favor this was about. It didn't seem like she had any idea what I was talking about, so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. Hmm. I'd been so negative this whole time. I felt like I needed to be useful to belong here. Even though that wasn't true at all. It was just what I was telling myself. I was being blinded by my fear. But understanding this made me realize what I really wanted to do. I've been going on about wanting to repay everyone for what they've done for me, but the real reason is a lot more simple. So, um, will you hear me out? Normally, I'd ask your opinion on how best to do something like this, but... <sighs> I... I want you by my side. I want to be together with you. Forever. you understood what I meant just now. <sighs> Thank you. You know, as long as I'm with you and everyone else at the dorm, then I feel like I'll be okay, no matter what happens. I know our bonds can't be torn apart. I wouldn't have been able to think like this if you hadn't been there to help me with my terrible cooking. So thank you for everything. I won't dwell on having to repay everyone anymore, but I think I'm going to stick with cooking for a bit longer. And this time, not to maintain my relationship with anyone, but because I want to do it for myself. If it's alright with you, do you think you could still help me with my cooking sometime? I know it might not always go well, and sometimes it might feel like I'm imposing on you, but I think it'd be fun to cook with friends. Yes! Thank you! I figured it would be best to choose something that's fun to do with others. <laughs> I can't wait! I need to get going. I have to go shopping for cookbooks. Let me know if you think of anything too, okay? I'll see you later. Bake with nothing but a microwave. You know, 
since it's almost Christmas, I wanted to try making something to get in the spirit of things. And depending on the ingredients I use, I might even be able to give some to Korochan. holding something in his mouth. Hmm. I wonder where he keeps finding all this. Oh no, Kuro-chan! Your butt's all dusty now! I guess we should take a bath together again. <laughs> Let's head back. Good morning. I am calling to inform you that two did Well then. to the velvet room which will you choose this is your progress so far so you'll be summoning this one very well it's yours are you finished we look My greatest effort, I will achieve the greatest outcome. One needle, one soul. This is my super day, my everything. Huh, that cheap material has been completely transformed. I could never have done this on my own. Without you, I would probably be back home already. And thanks to all your help, the kimono is almost finished. I feel so blessed. My home country. With my aunt gone, there is nothing there for me now. I just want to hurry and put an end to this so that I may live and die in Nihon. There's something I need to tell you. I have gotten to know many people since coming to Nihon. But you have been the most Tsubarashi person of them all. If my aunt was still alive, I would tell her about what a wonderful friend you have been to me. And now, we put the final touches on this kimono. Sure. I am so tired, I may be hallucinating a little bit. But this is the last part. I can't give up now. Ready, set, go! 
Sorry for making you come all the way up here. Well... Would you have a practice match with me? Right here, right now! It's just, now we're going up against that thing that lived inside of you, right? I thought if we sparred, I could get an idea of how well I would do against it. I, I trained in secret for a long time, so I could avenge my mom's death. That was the only time I could forget the pain. And I was alone, swinging my spear. But I've changed since then. I want to use this power to help me live my own life. I'd promised that I'd see this through to the end. I have to make good on that. Anyway, I want you to see me the way I am now, Senpai. Of course, I don't want us to actually get hurt, so I'll be using this. And this one's for you. Thank you for this. Now then? Please, take this seriously. Otherwise, there's no point. Yeah! <sighs> I never noticed you could see the stars so clearly up here. You were just as strong as I thought, Senpai. I had no chance. At least, now I know where I stand compared to you. Yes, I gave it my all. Although, it is still frustrating to see such a difference in our skills. I don't know what decision you'll make in the end, but as long as there's time, I won't stop training. So would you mind if I challenged you again sometime? Thank you. I'll get closer to beating you. Just wait. I really like it here. I've made so many memories since coming to this dorm. Both fun and difficult ones. But I feel like living means carrying it all with you and moving forward. I used to think I didn't have a place to call home, but I realized that's not something you get from someone else. Home, my real home, is the place that helps me move forward. That's why I believe fighting to come back here is what Aragaki-san would have wanted. I've learned that everyone at the dorm has their own reasons for staying. And that means I need to do my best, too. I never would have figured that out if I didn't have you all behind me. Let's you! <sighs> I like being on the rooftop at night, but maybe it's too cold to be out here in December. Can we talk some more inside? I'd like to go over today's battle before I forget. Oh, and while we're at it, you should say hi to Hamburger, too. Maybe it's because it's winter, but his fur's gotten so fluffy and cute. You were gonna go visit your mother's grave. Sonata-san. You sure this is where you want to be? Well, I was planning on visiting her, but when I thought about what I was gonna say to her, it just didn't feel right. I've still got unfinished business to take care of first. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't have anything to tell Shinji right now. I've got my own stuff to deal with. An unbeatable enemy, huh? I wonder what it's like. Beats me. That doesn't matter, though. I've already made up my mind. I don't care what I'm up against. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. 
Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. All right. equipment we have some new items prepared come take a look what would you like you gotta tell now what would you like what would you like so what will it be what would you like Are you sure? Here, it's all. Are you sure? Here you go. Thanks for waiting. Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. Accepting a request? Very well, then. Hmm. Oh. Time to get to work.
I'll end this. Just watch. It doesn't seem to be effective. I'm ready. your words there's our way up how are you doing Take it up! Great job, Amatakuna! No! 
make me more effective in battle. to work. Not tired? Then let's be off. Hmm? It's pretty hard to act as if everything's normal, isn't it? I can't. I'm not calling it quits just yet. There's a treasure chest. It's an enemy. Do we attack? I wish I could understand what Kuro-chan's saying. Then we could... Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, now back to exploring. A shadow. What will you do? Oh, there's a treasure chest! The number of people suffering from apathy syndrome seems to be increasing. That chest. Now then, let's get back to work. Um, um. I'm not trying to look at the scenery or anything, but it... Looks like that one will be tough to beat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ever do that? Careful, the enemy's nearby. Oh, there's a treasure chest.
Welcome back. Let's continue exploring. <gasps> um. The enemies are getting stronger, but so am I. We found the stairs. Powerful enemy spotted! Please be careful! There was a safe place for us to take a break. Like some sort of safe room. Hmm. That'd certainly be convenient. Oh, there's a treasure chest! It seems impossible to climb to this height without a teleporter. So this is where the stick. I'll go with. 
this work? People around the world aren't afraid because they don't know anything about this.
It's an enemy. Do we attack? What should we do about the door? It's your call. Careful, the enemy's nearby. Excellent. Look. You can do it, Korochan! Ooh, a treasure! <laughs> Looks like that one will be tough to beat. There's a shadow. Careful, the enemy's nearby.
bet we'll find something good. What happens? I feel like I'll um Oh, help Are you ready? You didn't invite anyone else, did you? Wait, what am I saying? Sorry, I'm having some trouble remaining calm. I'll let you decide where we should go. What a sight. I thought I was accustomed to Christmas decorations by now. But for some reason, they look especially beautiful today. Uh, hey, don't tease me. Well, shall we stroll around for a bit? Even a simple walk with you is quite pleasant. No manner of extravagant party could offer an experience like this. Here, I'd like you to have something. Put in a special order for you. My hope is we take some time to enjoy it together once things have settled down. I'm glad I was able to give this to you today. Thank you. You prepared a gift for me. Hmm. Thank you. I'll treasure it. For once, I feel calm, like I'm finally at peace. I should probably let you know. When I see you enjoying yourself with Yukari or the others, I get restless. But at the same time, it's a pleasure to be reminded of these feelings I have. In all honesty, I never thought I'd be allowed to be this happy. gotten so late. 
When I'm with you, I sometimes find myself wishing for the clock to stop moving. What a peculiar feeling. Could it be... Um, sorry. I was just talking to myself. It's nothing. Come on, don't look at me like that. I'm going to see how flushed my face is. This place is awfully bright. Do you mind if we go somewhere else? Not so good. Can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. I'm missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? Still, I'm really sorry. You have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing. Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. Where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. I probably won't be able to keep it. Guess I'll owe him an explanation. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. I'm going to focus on winning back my health instead. <laughs> well, I can't exactly force myself to heal, you know? Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt with both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too.
I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. I see you're back. Hmm.